Let's go, guys. Let's go. That's all I have to say. It's really that time. Halloween is here. But why does it feel like Christmas? Okay? A few hours ago, there were 1.3 million at 500,000, 450,000, and 150,000 more RL. USC was let in at RL USC Treasury, guys. Don't you see that millions are being written every day? For the second time today, XRP is going to pump, guys. It is mostly about XRP. I'm going to add some Bitcoin news because it all fits together, guys. I'm really excited, so please like today's movie. So how many days are left? I think there are six. I believe, okay, guys, let's move the limit back a second to see if they're going to appeal or not. Are you ready? Because then we'll know for sure what happens next if they don't appeal. Besides, this makes it look like they're not going to appeal, guys. And if we see the price of XRP rise ahead of time, insiders know what's going to happen. Matt Hogan, CEO of Bitwise, said months ago that more ETFs for the crypto market were on the way. Okay, so this is what he said would happen this year, guys. Okay, there's a lot of money coming in. That's right. Yes. Yes. I believe people should pay attention to Q3 and Q4 when it comes to these ETFs. In January, the Bitcoin ETF took off like a rocket. I think flows slowed down a bit in Q2, but they're still coming in. We saw the start of the Ethereum ETF. But I think the most important thing about the second half of the year is that flows will pick up again. Take a look. What do you think about the end of Q3 to the beginning of Q4? Flows are likely to speed up again now that everything fits together so well, guys. This is how I know they're probably there. To be honest, I don't think they'll appeal, but you never know. This comes from a fin, right? Because of all these things, I think there's a 70% chance that the SEC won't appeal and a 30% chance that they will. Right now, it looks like a coin toss. Now he says that big banks and companies will try to buy Bitcoin ETFs. That's how the flows will start to pick up again in Q4, guys. And remember what it all ties into. This quarter, Q4. Most of October was green. Year after year, October, November, and December were all green. What year are you guys? It is an election year. Every year with a green September was green, and so were October, November, and December. Q4 has begun and will continue today. Okay, guys. It's October right now, which means that October will have a lot of green guys, and November and December will also have a lot of green guys. Has it started? That is the real question. I believe it has. Guys, we also need to talk about XRP's chart for October, November, and December. What do we see here? You guys find that interesting when the market goes up, right? We're also in the green during these months, since I think Bitcoin is in the green guys in October. Just look at how many times we were in the green guys, right? It looks like this is an extra 100 pieces per month. Let's come back here. Let us hear what he has to say. Does that mean I expect all of the big wirehouses, like Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, UBS, and Maryland, to go online? In late Q3, early Q4, and that will free up trillions of dollars worth of assets that will rush into the space. I think it's going to be a big deal. Putting that into words, look at that person. We come back here, Ripple has been a choice among institutions because it works with big banks and other financial institutions. They say that the approval of a Bitcoin ETF makes crypto a real investment choice and could lead to more big companies using it. Because of this, more financial companies that want to use the benefits of blockchain technology may start to accept Ripple. Okay. I think I remember that an ETF for XRP will be going live soon. ETFs are very important, at least for you guys, because they will be used by banks. The number of Bitcoins bought by ETFs and September number of Bitcoin miner guys, you can see why it's important it adds an extra push to buy. So Justin Bitwise falls an extra PTF you heard the CEO of Bitwise talk about an XRP ETF and the SEC's decision against Ripple last year, right? Next, BlackRock put in an XRP ETF. They must have already done that, right? It was really hard to fake us. Many people who own XRP wanted me to ask you why it was going to do anything with XRP after the case against Ripple was over and it became clear that XRP is not a security. Is there anything you can share about that? Yes, it is now a Bitwise 10 position. With a 3.2% weight, it is the third biggest investment. Because it added a fair amount of risk to the market, we took it off the index the day the SEC sued. But the case went to court, and a decision was made. And, as you said, the decision said it wasn't really a security in most ways. It is now back in the index where it belongs, next to your pillows. That's why we're with you. Also, guess what? They think the market will go up, right? They think the market will go up. Guys, that's all I want to hear. Now, why does everything come full circle? Electric Capital is one of the biggest crypto venture capital companies, which is why. They also invested early in Bitwise. This is the same electric capital where Jay Clayton works as an assistant. Guy for full circle, what is it? 589. 5 times 8 times 9 is 360, which is a full circle. So the chief investment officer of Bitwise confirmed Bitwise put in for an extra spot PTF to the block that explains the quote. We can talk about more details and notes tomorrow, right? It said that tomorrow you guys will see or will have more information on what's going on with all of this and I hope the case is over tomorrow as well. Take a look. Isn't tomorrow going to be a really interesting day? Yes, it is. We've talked about that date a lot. This room has a lot to unpack. As we already know, Bitwise just recently applied for an XRP ETF. Valid. In fact, someone from Bitwise will be at Ripostwell to talk about ETFs. What? Take a look at this, guys. This is the CEO of Bitwise. ETFs for crypto. What, you don't say? 
Look at that one more time. Ripple was pointing things out. Guys, these people already know, and they tell you right there in plain sight, right? Then it gets even more interesting, though, because Bloomberg is also the official media partner for this Ripple Swell event in Miami. Eric from Bloomberg, and he's also an ETF expert, right? In his suite, Bragg Rollinghouse talked about Bloomberg as a media partner when Ripple Swell was revealed. Now, Eric, that's the top ETF analyst team at Bloomberg. He made sure that the Bitwise ATF worked. That was just filed as real guys, so even he agreed it was real. There were some interesting things going on. But why didn't Bitwise just wait a few days to see if the STC would appeal up appeal or not? That's what I said the whole time, guys. White Swan events were coming up, but no one else called it. Get ready. Because one day we'll wake up with a smile on our face. Okay, Grayskull will also be there. I think that Bitwise positioning to file for an XRP ETF is very interesting. This is most likely a call option on the November election in the short run. I really did tell you that everything is linked elections, crypto, and the Federal Reserve. Bitwise, on the other hand, is a very trustworthy crypto-only fund that doesn't just throw stuff at the wall. That's just not in their genes. This is a smart move. Yes, and don't forget that Bitwise Fund Holds Guys was there before Solana, I told you. I told you no one else is calling like we are. Because of that, please like this movie. Now picture this, our Luke launches right after the XRP ETF filing goes live, and the price goes through the roof right then and there. This, along with all the outside events like elections that won't go as planned, makes Q4 look like it will be a very nice quarter. That means everything will go up a lot. Don't forget about our LUSD, though XRP's future will go up a lot, and the real USC stablecoin advance. Let's see how the South guys are. Do not fade the fixed coin. The real USD stablecoin is a fraud-fighting tool for big banks. Listen up, they're getting ready. They are getting ready. Without a doubt, cooking is about to begin. We need to keep in mind that we still have a ways to go. When this starts to clear out and we hear about the institutions, we're sure to see this number go through the roof. And XRP has been in the top 10 even during this SEC case. That's when we'll see it. It's still in the top 10. So kick rocks to everyone who doesn't like XRP. You people have no idea what this coin will do, okay? You need to do more of your homework. I'm here to tell you that XRP baby is about to hit absolutely crazy highs, especially if you believe everything this man and Monica Long have been saying over the last few years. Let me show you that video too. It's all coming together now that Monica Long talks about institutional resist. This is what they are and why I think about it. It looks like XRP has been advising in this triangle shape for seven years, right? A real question is why it hasn't burst yet. Both ways went off the rails, but it only went sideways. He did the right thing though because it can't stay sideways forever, right? Cash flow is now low because of all the formulas and other things. Now here's the thing we didn't fight or break up though. They're waiting for some kind of news to set off this explosion, which means that the price of extra pieces is likely to go up as well. Guys, pay attention. It's all coming in at once. 90% of stablecoin transactions are caused by bots and tactics that make inflation look real. Only 10% of stablecoin deals are actually done by real people. Even more interesting is the fact that 90% of all stablecoin trade happens on Tether USCT. Not by chance in Scots, right? So USCT is about to say goodbye and what's going to happen here. Our LESEE is about to say hello. Here's one more add-on. The cherry on top. On September 29th, Meltgold confirmed that the first transaction of the mainnet went through. This transaction was about tokenizing gold on the XRP record, and more will be added until October. Isn't that lovely? I told you guys that there is a lot going on with the XRP record. This is our year, this year, next year, and now. We are getting ready for this party because of this. Guys, come to Miami on October 17th for the XRP Community Night at the Miami Beach Edition Hotel. Look at that. There will be an XRP Community Night after all of these events. Now people can have a party. That's interesting. Just a quick question about the chart, guys. We tried the triangle again, and it seems to have broken, even though it's this low, guys. Yes, we did another test. We've done another test of it, it looks like. Take a look at that 90 cent N for XRP, okay? The monthly on the XRPS monthly chart looks scary, guys. In seven years' time, it just broke out of the RSI. The news couldn't have come at a better time. Oh my goodness, I'm excited so Ripple comes out with